everybody, I'm Elaine. And I'm Lee. And, and we're, we're the Roids. Roids. Here's an exclusive look at our brand new album, New Day Dawning. Right here on Focus on the 615. New Day Dawning, the title track, a song that Elaine and I had the pleasure of writing with our good friend Steve Dean. Yeah, we got in the room and I don't even know who came up with the idea. Do you remember? I don't, but it was a great experience because it we really were just was. talking about how there's always a brighter day ahead. Uh, if you just keep your head up and you keep fighting through uh, everything that you're going through, you know, you'll, uh, you'll end up persevering and you'll have a new day dawning. That's right. I hope it brings everybody some hope out there. Daddy to Me is a song that's very dear to me. Uh, I actually co-wrote that with uh, my good friend Brandon Rickman of the Lonesome River Band. We were uh, in a room and, and we were just talking about my father-in-law who was uh, terminally ill and uh, just how, you know, at some point, unfortunately, we all go through yeah. uh, those, those grieving moments in our lives. And uh, I was telling him how my wife had said no matter what would happen and no matter what words would be said at his funeral that he would always be daddy to her. And uh, I, we just thought it'd be a great idea for a song. And, and uh, luckily, when we played it for Elaine, she loved it. Yeah, it, it brought a tear to my eye. It makes me appreciate our dad yeah. so much more while they're here with us. So uh, just uh, I know it's going to touch your heart just like it did mine. Still Standing. Still Standing. Yeah, that was a, a song that you and I wrote on the back of the bus heading to Florida for a show. I had the idea. I was watching TV one night, and someone said, Keep Standing. And as you know, I've been going through some personal yeah. stuff. And, uh, but at the end of the day, you know, we keep standing. We're still standing. And he said, how about still standing? So we kind of took it from there and, and morphed it into this song of, you know, again, if whatever's going on in our lives, if, if we let the dust settle and we look around, you know, we're still standing. Look yeah, and, and it, it turns out to be a, a pretty cool, progressive song for us. And yeah. uh, so far, so good. Everybody seems to like it. We hope you do, too. Winding Rose is a song that Lee co wrote. And when he played it for me, I fell in love with it. Because it really talks about home and, you know, looking back on our journey together in this music business, uh, no matter where we've been or where we're going, you know, it, the road always leads back to home. And that really, really touched my heart and uh, I'm sure it's going to touch a lot of listeners out there too. Yeah, we hope you enjoy it, Winding Roads. Grandpa's Barn, uh, the song that uh, luckily for us won't <laughs> go away. It's a song that we, uh, we cut a few years ago, uh, had the very... Uh, honor to, to tour with the legend George Jones and got to play this song every night uh, on, on stage in front of the crowds and uh, had such great response from it that when it came time to recut it, um, we were hoping we'd capture that magic again. And, and I think we did. A lot of people come up to us and, and thank us for, for the song. We just had recently a guy come up to us and say that um, just a few days prior to our show that he had lost his granddad and that it was just making him really think of his granddad and really appreciate the time that he had with him. And uh, we really hope that uh, this song will, uh, will make you think of your granddads or your dads or your stepdads or uncles, or if it makes you think of anybody that you need to pick up the phone and call, then we've done our job. We hope you enjoy it. Living Scrapbook is a song that I co-wrote with our good buddy Steve Dean. And uh, I heard the Living Scrapbook on TV. Someone said it, and right away I... I you know, put it down on my phone, our new uh, notepad, our phones. And I thought, man, that would be a cool title for a song. And I started looking at all the pictures on the wall of our, of our family pictures and, you know, of my living scrapbook. That's what, that's what it is. And uh, we co-wrote it together, and I played it for Lee. And I think he liked it, I hope. It's on the album. <laughs> I did, absolutely. When, uh, when we came time to, to put these songs together for this album, uh, I had a song that I had written that was kind of similar and uh, we were debating on which one to use. And, and to me, it was a no-brainer. We had to put this song on there. Um, I, I look at pictures on the wall every day and can put myself right back in that moment and feel the, the, the feelings that were around us and the smells. And you can re-put yourself in that moment and relive it. And uh, I think it's a great song. I hope you enjoy it. Fast As We Roll is a song that I co-wrote that um, is exactly that. It, it's, it talks about how fast-paced our lives are. And and how, you know, no matter how fast you're going to run through things and, and, and go through your life, at the end of the day, you know, we're all going to end up at the same place. And um, our co-writer or my co-writer on this, uh, one of them had, had the idea from being in, in traffic and the horn was blowing behind her. And she kind of moved over and the guy zipped on through and gave her this dirty look and kept on going. And about 20 minutes down the road, they ended up at the same stoplight, and she kind of chuckled about it. And so we wrote this just uh, just as it is. I mean, basically, it, it talks about 
um, savoring those moments. Mm. Uh, the second verse talks about kids growing up right before our eyes, and and you know before you realize they're gone. And it's it's just that it's the uh, I always say it's Garth Brooks's uh, version of uh, stop and smell the roses, and yeah. and that's what this is. It's it's talking about taking time to to savor everything in our life and and uh, build on that and. And uh, hopefully when you, when you get done, you'll take a deep breath, you'll enjoy it, and you'll hit play and listen to the album again. <laughs>